أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أفلم يسيروا في الأرض فتكون لهم قلوب يعقلون بها أو أذو يسمعون بها فإنها لا تعمل الأبصار ولكن تعمل القلوب التي في السدور Someone told me, a kid or a teacher, they said, you know, you, you're, you can't do that, you're blind. And I didn't know what blind was. So when I went home, I asked my mom, so what's blind? And she said, she said you, you're not blind, you just can't see. When I took my shahada and I was, I was hearing the Quran, um, I heard that ayah. And I'm like, that's what, that, that kind of solidified it as the haq for me, right? Because Allah said that literally, He said, you, you know, it's not your eyes that can't see, but it's the hearts that are what, uh, what, are what actually grow blind, right? So that's what I kind of meant when I said blind, to be blind is to be kind of disabled. And I didn't mean it from the eye sense, I meant it from the heart sense, right? That that's actually what the ayah means, it's like, Those people, they are deaf, dumb, and blind, and they don't have any intelligence, right? It doesn't mean that they can't hear and can't see literally, but their hearts are sealed. So they don't hear or see because of the seal that's on their hearts. The other people that fail to understand what Islam is. Some of them are Muslims claiming to be, and some of them are not. But because you, you can be, just because you say something doesn't necessarily mean you live up to it. You can be just as blind as anybody else. The king has a friend. This friend was blind, completely blind. Came to this ulam, Jazallah khair, he said, I'll give you all my wealth, all of it, if you heal my eyes. And the ulam, he said, that I am not the one who heals, Allah is the one who heals, but I'll make dua for you. But you have to believe in Allah. So of course, Allah healed that friend of the king's eyes and he became Muslim. There's many hadith that are, that are like that. There's one, um, the person who Allah has taken his two beloved ones from him, meaning his eyes and his patient with it. It's promised Jannah. Um, there's a lot of stuff. It's empowering when you think of it, right? It's empowering because we're taught, وَإِذْ أَصَابَتُكُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Like when a calamity comes to you or a trial comes to you, and you say, from Allah we came into Allah, we return again. And أُولَيْكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٍ Then those people have special um, mercy from their Lord. وَأُولَيْكَمْ الْمُهْتَدُونَ And they are the people who are guided. You know, so it's important to empower yourself with that. Because really, I mean, you're never powerless, ever. Um, you, if, if nothing else works, you can still make dua silently, right? As long as you can think and, and your, your, your heart is alive, you can make dua. So you're never actually powerless. And that's, that's the message that I try to get people. It's empowerment, you know. You can never say that the Muslims are powerless. It's silly, you know. You can talk to Allah. Who, <laughs> who, who, who's better than Allah to talk to? You know what I mean? So you call your MP and congressman and this man and that one and that one and the third one. And they, they may or may not help you, but Allah always listens, you know. Maybe I should do this. Permissible for the owner of a restaurant to sell food to those who are not fasting and to cover during the day in Ramadan? Now many people would look and say that, why didn't Allah protect them? Why is it that Allah didn't protect those people? That's, many people would look at that and say that. Many of us would say that. They should have just lied and gave up their religion. Well, let me tell you about them giving up their religion. That was their choice. Either you be burned to death in that fire or you give up your religion. Not one of them, not one gave up his or her religion. The dunya is sijinul mu'min wa jannatul kafir, right? The dunya is a prison for the believer and a paradise for the disbeliever. And we're taught, we're taught, um, أَصْبِرُوا وَصَابِرُوا وَرَابِطُوا وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Like, be patient and steadfast and have, have taqwa for Allah that you might be successful. Like, there's, there's no end. Um, say to my servants, do not despair the mercy of Allah. Um, in Allah, jami'a. Allah forgives all sins. Like we're taught those things in the Quran, we're taught them in the Sunnah, and we're taught them by the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
So there's no there's no end to the encouragement that we've been given. There's no end to it, you know. And, and especially from the look who the look who the the one who's giving you the encouragement is. Subhanallah. Like it's not just people people get that twisted when we think that you know Quran is just kind of a book where we read it in a nice voice and we recite it in Ramadan, but it's the kalam of Allah. Like it's the literal speech of Allah. So who better to encourage you than you know than Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, right? Anything, I mean, um, not being able to see in a wheelchair, poverty, whatever your issue happens to me. Who, who's better at encouragement than Allah? I mean, we can, we can remind you, but the source is, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the dhikr al al you know, remembrance, um, reminder, actually, reminder benefits the believers. Right? Oh, number two, you got it, bro. Yeah, you kidding, right? Alright. I got it, I got it, yes. Oh! I'll switch. Bismillah. Buna, you got that one, right? I got it. That was a good one. <laughs> that was the best. We can go home now and pack that one up. That was a good one. Inna ladina amanu wa amilu salihat. Those who believe and do righteousness. Lahum jannatun tajri min tahtihal anhar. And that's the proof that I'm using. Allah promised those people that. Paradise and gardens under which rivers flow. And the, this is the important part of the ayah when we say, ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ kabir. That is the tremendous victory. There is no victory besides that victory. How it looks doesn't matter. Who cares that people may see them as being defeated. They weren't defeated. It only looks that way. They were not defeated. I'm sorry, no one in Jannah is defeated. Nobody, absolutely nobody. They made it into the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they had to go through fire to get there. And that is the second thing you want to take from them. They had to walk through fire. Their children had to go through fire. They had to go through it. Their wives and their husbands and mothers and fathers all had to go through it. You don't have to go through fire. You don't have to do that. What do you have to do? Two things. Two things. Allah wa atiyu Rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Huwa Allahu alladhi la ilaha illa hu. Alimu al-ghaybi wa al-shahadati huwa ar-rahman ar-rahim. Huwa Allahu alladhi la ilaha illa hu. الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم